Oh. We don't get segmentation failure, so if start is less than zero, then we set the start equal to zero. And if end is greater than uh, the the uh, so the map zero dot size, then we set the end to max zero dot size. And equal to map zero that size. It was a funny uh, map generation, by the way, don't you think? So the random values which were on, on the memory generated this map, which it is not drawn by me, it is just the random bits which were on the memory. Uh, okay, so now if we compile and run the program, as we go, oh, sorry about that, so as I go, as I go, uh, it is not shown on the screen, which is not seen on the screen. Okay, uh, you could write this value, so the start and the end, and you will realize that. Uh, okay, that's basically it. So, just a little optimization, not uh, necessary, but uh, it is good to have uh, optimized code. Uh, and 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 uh, and I think we can start to implement the player class. Okay, so hope that okay. Here we go. So I just create a new uh, class, actually file called uh, player dot cpp, and I make another one called player player dot age. There we go. And I just open these files too. Alright then. So here we open the, the player.age and player.cpp. Okay. Here we just include a few things like uh, the sdl slash sdl.age without underscore. Okay. So we include the IO stream. So if we want to write something out, then we can do that. So IO stream. We include the vector because uh, we will use the vector in the collision detection here, which is, I think, the most confusing part of the entire program. Okay, and uh, we have to use uh, the base. So include base.h so we include the base header file okay and uh, make class player okay uh, actually one thing there is which I should do is to inherit it from the base.cpp uh, the base so the base class okay here is it okay I just uh, make a collision function which will be protected. I put the uh, collision function here because it's needed many in many class. So I don't want to write over and over and over again the collision. I put in the base class and just inherit uh, inherit the base class where the collision function is needed. So this will be bool collision and it's written SDL rect uh, rect one and another one SDL rect rect two, uh, which a pointer as well. Okay, that's it. Now we have to just implement this function to the C uh, CPP file. Okay, here it is. So we just include the base dot h header file and now it uh, we just uh, implement the function which is inside the base class so I use base class colon colon collision and uh, just make it okay so if uh, rec one so now we first uh, examine if it is upper than the rec one so a rec two is upper than the rec one so rec one dot y y 
is uh, greater or equal than rec2 uh, y plus rec2 height if it is greater uh, if it is equal then we return with zero because there is no way to be a collision so we check that uh, now is it lefter so the rec 2 is lefter than the rec 1 so rec 1 x is greater or equal than rec 2 x plus rec 2 uh, width if so then we re just return with zero okay so if uh, now we uh, examine that is it under the rec1 so rec2 is under the rec1 so if rec1 dot uh, y plus rec1 dot height is less or equal than rec2 dot um, actually the uh, y okay that's it if it is true then we return with false because there is no way to be a collision and the final check we check that is it writer than the rec1 so rec2 is writer than rec1 so rec1 uh, uh, x plus rec1 width is greater uh, no less or equal than rec2 uh, x if so, then return with zero because there is no way to be a collision. And if all false, then we just return with one, not zero, because there was a collision. I hope that I haven't uh, mistyped anything, so it will work. Hmm. Okay, so we inherited from the base class, and so. We just uh, do that to not make the collision detection function for uh, so everywhere. Okay, and uh, let's get started and make the variables. Uh, okay, so first of all we need a box. This box will contain the coordinate of the player. Actually just the relative coordinate of the player and the width height everything. So this will be the bounding box. This and according to this we will you uh, we will make the collision detection so fdr rect uh, box okay and then we need a surface which will be the image of the player so fdl surface uh, image okay we need a velocity of the player which is x and y velocity so int x well y well okay and uh, we need a uh, array of rectangles which will contain uh, that uh, the what clip is uh, is th there so they basically will contain the first rect and then the second rect the third and the last rect so yes yeah, this is an array of sdr rects so sdr rect uh, call it clips and it has four elements because I have four picture. If you have more picture, then it will g uh, be it will have more element. Okay. Uh, for now, I will not make the animation, so I make a little later. For now, I just want to uh, make the simple moving, and uh, yeah, basically that's what I will make. Okay, and uh, I think we can make the public function right now. Uh, like the constructor, the constructor will create an SDL, SDL surface uh, IMG. So the image, it will get the image and set the image equal to image. Everything as is initialized in here. So in the constructor, just we get the image. Okay, we need a destructor, which will basically just uh, free the image all right and we need a few getter function getter function we will think uh, so a function which will actually return with the, the private very uh, private uh, variables right okay so uh, it this is the in uh, get uh, x well uh, so no i don't think so so uh 
FDL rect oh, and it will return a pointer and get rect at least it's called I get rect and it will just you know return with the address of box okay and uh, we need a setter void set x well and it's weight an int well so it will just set the x velocity to something okay i will later tell you why is it important and you will see why is it important when we actually implement it okay and uh, we need a get x oh no the get x num the get x velocity so get x well and it will return just the x well so uh, because the uh, game class will control this player so it can set the velocity of the player and uh, yeah get the coordinate so basically the base class will do the get the x coordinate uh, by the get rect and if it is greater than the uh, number then it will stop the player so set x will stop and actually it will not move the player itself it will move the camera okay uh, but you will see that the player is moving actually the player is the only one which is not moving the camera is moving and everything other is moving but the player is not so that's why these functions are needed okay we need a move function so void move okay the move function will wait a reference to the map so I use const uh, std vector and inside the vector we have another vector and this will wait an int template parameter and uh, we actually add the reference to it call it map never really not really matter okay and uh, we need uh, a show function which will actually show the player so with show and it will wait in FDL surface we can call it screen <laughs> all right basically that's it for now but later we can add more uh, function and and we will add more function that's just the basic functionality so if not defined uh, player age then we just define player age and we use the end if at the end so end if okay so basically just avoid the multiple inclusion and uh, open the player that cpp and start to implement the function so include player dot h and uh, start to implement the functions i start i like to start the constructor at first so player player and it's waiting as the surface img okay so make image equal to img image equal to img okay and set all of the other things in here so box dot add to the box box so this will where the player will start box dot x equal to 30 no zero and box dot uh, y equals to zero as well so we start the this upper corner of the screen and we will fall down to the actual uh, map okay so we set the box the width equal to uh, 50 because that's the width of the book that's the width of the uh, it uh, that's the width of the image and the height of the image is 100 okay so next thing is uh, uh, x well and y well so just set in x well equal to zero oh not int i don't declare it i just define it and y well equal to zero as well next thing uh, okay and set the clips i use a for loop to set the uh, clips so for int i equals zero i less than four i plus plus 